As we reflect on the past year, we talk a lot about our roots, our traditions. Since 1996, we have given a Lifetime Achievement Award to a member of the business community who's made a significant impact over the course of his or her career. We named this award for our first recipient, Del Hawk. It's an honor to continue his tradition of making his mark on the business community. But what I love most about this award is the person has no idea they are receiving it today. The person we will award today has been a fixture in our region's business community. Someone really who has had a great vision for our region and knew that investing in things like fast tracks would be key to business success, not just our region's success. They've given countless hours to organizations, including having served as our chair at one point. Let's watch a video to see who this year's award recipient for Del Hawk Award is. He's friendly, he's funny. He's um, persistent and consistent. Ned Miner has that ability to, to make people around him feel better and do better. Everybody refers to Ned as Nedley, uh, which is a, a great uh, quick summary of sort of the kind of person he is. Warm and friendly. I've known Ned for 38 years. I met through his partner, John Brown. I have a lot of memories with Ned, uh, many of which I cannot say on camera. He handled the legal portions of my deal when I purchased McLean Finland Advertising in 1988. And so he was instrumental in everything that happened to me. He held my hand. He, you know, knew what to do. We just were a fabulous team together. You know, he's been a, he's been a volunteer at the chamber for close to 30 years, I would expect. And not just a passive volunteer who wants his name on the resume, but rather somebody who's actively involved. When Ned was chair, he really brought to the forefront the majority of chamber members are small business. And who we really serve, 90% of our members have less than 100 employees. And what Ned reminded all of Colorado is that is foundational to our business community. During the time that he was chair of the chamber, this community was called upon to have a vote with regard to adoption of fast tracks. And Ned recognized the role that the chamber had to play in that endeavor. So Ned was focused, and he always has been, focused on how can we succeed for the betterment of this community, and he did it. Ned's leadership style is based in what I would call the definition of servant leadership. That's what Ned has always been about, is his starting from somewhere and building it into something new. He really, really is committed to our community, to our state, to our economy, to our future. Um, we really are indebted. Uh, Ned, well-deserved recognition, congratulations. I'm proud to have you as a friend, proud to have you as a winner of the award, and we're proud to have you as a citizen of Denver. Ned, I am thrilled that you have been chosen for this illustrious honor. Congratulations, young man. You have spent a lifetime achieving for others, helping others move their businesses forward, making this a better, better community. The Chamber is so honored this year to recognize you, your leadership, and the difference you've made in the Colorado business community. Thank you, from the bottom of our heart, thank you for everything you continue to do for us. I'm going to borrow her glasses and read from her script. One doesn't have much time to gather one's thoughts once you realize that you're going to be standing here in a few moments. 
So if I seem to wander or meander, it's because I probably am. But uh, let me just thank all of the people who've been instrumental in this progress, this journey. The two most important people in my life, my extraordinary wife, Nancy, and my daughter, Sarah. Stand up and be recognized, guys. For the past 47 years, whenever I needed a boost or sort of a kick in the rear, Nancy was there, the first one to do it. And on those occasions where I needed focus and uh, precision in my thinking, she was usually leading me by the nose. So she was doing that more than she was kicking me from the behind. So thanks for all your support. And I, I love the two of you more than, than anybody in this room knows. The next group of people that I must thank are my extraordinary partners. And I suspect some of them are sprinkled here throughout the, the uh, why are they near? They're, they're near the exits. They're near the exit door because as soon as I finish, they're going to get back to the office and start billing again. <laughs> but uh, the partners that I have at Miner and Brown are extraordinary lawyers, but more importantly, they're just extraordinary people. Lisa D. Ambrosia, Kim Ritter, Tim Jordan, Barbara Wells, and uh, Jim Thomas. So if you guys would stand and just wave real quickly, I'd appreciate it because you, you're the ones who've been able to. Enable me to get out and do the great things, the great, the great opportunities I've had with this with this organization. And third, Kelly, you and, and the chamber staff, you have just carried on the tradition of this extraordinary organization. And your predecessors before before you, my my dear friend J Joe Blake, to watch what you guys have done to enable all of the people in this room to reach out and really find their dream in Denver, Colorado, and play a, a participating role, a critical part of that process. It couldn't happen but for the Chamber. There is no better organization in the country than the Denver Metro Chamber. So thank you for your leadership, the staff's leadership, and for carrying on the great tradition that this organization represents. And finally, we would be, none of us would be, or I certainly wouldn't be here, but for the example of my dear friend, Del Hawk. Del, I remember vividly all the great things that uh, Last year's recipient, I can't think of right now. It'll come to me. Doug Jones, sorry, Doug, uh, just spoke in glowing terms about you and the leadership role that you played. But more than anything, you were a role model. You were an inspiration to me personally. There were so many times when I would see you at the podium saying something, just cutting right to the, to the, to the essence of what the issues were. But you always reached out to the next generation of leaders coming up and there are many times that I said to myself, I want to be like Del Hawk. So now to be just a, a part of the shadow cast by your extraordinary cape is as good as it gets. Thank you very much.